10 tips for leather crafting. Take some offcuts of guitar strings and place them under some 800 or 1000 grit sandpaper. This will help you to sharpen your edge beveling tools, which are of different sizes. If you are all out of contact cement, you can use wood glue as an alternative to just tack pieces of uh, leather together. The more you use, the stronger it is. You can use a Sharpie marker pen to blacken the edges of your leather work as an alternative to edge coat or other edging dyes. To sharpen your craft scissors, fold a piece of tin foil over a few times and chop away as you see here. It will really revitalize the sharpness of your craft scissors and you'll be surprised how effective this is. Sometimes you really want to condition some very, very dry leather. Well, you can always use the same products that you use on your own body. Something like Vaseline Intensive Care will help to moisturize any leather products that you have. A clear ruler is really helpful when leather crafting because you can really square up the edges visually very easily but the edge gets really worn out quite quickly so you need to get a metal edged clear ruler. If you have no more tokenol for burnishing the edges of your leather you can always use something like shampoo or uh, dishwash liquid as an alternative. Leathercraft hardware is very expensive. I suggest going to thrift stores, charity stores and buying up all the old bags that they have with all the hardware that you'll ever need and you'll be amazed at the money you'll save. Professional leather dyeing is very expensive. Consider using wood stains as an alternative. This is a water-based product that is a fraction of that which would be marketed for using on leather. You can find similar products that you'd find on a leather crafting website in your local hardware store that may save you a great deal of money. Thanks for watching.